Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little bit of a different video. I went into Walgreens to take some corrective actions. Um, typically if it's just a few dollars, I wouldn't say anything or do anything. I would just let it slide. Partially because I don't think, yes, it's my two dollars. Yes, if I'm still in the store, parking lot or whatever, I'll go back in. But after I go home and get everything situated, I don't think that it's worth my time for two dollars but I understand the principle I really do and that's great that that's you know that you would go back for two dollars if that's you if that's what you would want to do you know for a couple bucks but when you get like seven eight nine ten dollars more it's like no I'm taking my happy butt back to that store and you're gonna give me my ten bucks this ain't happening so what happened was I got four soft soaps. They rung up. I got two different scents. They all rang up at four seventy nine dollars apiece. Then I got two different kinds of Colgate. The Colgate Total rung up at four ninety nine. dollars The Colgate Optic White rung it was supposed to be three ninety nine. dollars It rung up at uh, four forty nine. dollars So everything that I got was supposed to be three ninety nine dollars apiece. Now I got my points. So I know that, and we as couponers know that the tag and the ad were right. Their system was wrong because this happened to quite a few other people. So when I go, when I went in there, I just, um, when I went in there, I just, you know, explained them short, you know, in short what happened. So we took the stuff. I went back with the cashier, showed her. She's like, oh yeah, this is crazy that this many items and you know, so then she's like, I'm going to call a manager, go over to the photo department, and they will take care of you. So I go over there. The manager comes out. I've dealt with this manager before. I told her what happened. And she did the same thing. Maybe it was this. Maybe it was that. You know, maybe it's not tagged properly. Maybe it's not activated properly, um, which is probably the case. Is they just probably didn't activate it properly. I don't know because... We got the points for these items. Um, so then uh, she goes back and she looks too. So then um, I forgot about the scanner law. The scanner law is in, um, I just looked it up before I started filming. It's in like 25 states. So definitely look up and see if it's your state because even if it is a couple of dollars, you will get back more than just that because, and I will show you, I got back an additional $20 because of the scanner law in my state. The scanner law is if you bring something back within a certain amount of time, and apparently it's 48 hours later, I was still able to do it. I don't know what the time frame is because Back when I was a cashier in like the early 2000s, it was um, 10 times the amount of the difference up to $5, no more than $5 per item. So she scans to, you know, to do the, I got a different receipt here and it shows the difference. Um, it's a little blurry, I know, but like, it show, and I'll show it better, but it, it's a receipt that shows, okay, this soft soap body washer was an 80 cent difference. So I got two of those, and then I got a $5. I got the, the difference plus $5. Then down to the other soft soap, 80 cents plus $5. Then down to the Colgate, I got a dollar back for each one of those plus $5. Uh, the Colgate Optic White, I got 50 cents back the difference for those plus five dollars i was under the assumption that with the scanner law you had to catch it in the store before you left otherwise it was null and void apparently there is a time frame there's a time frame whatever that time frame is i don't know i probably could look it up but uh so i'll show you my receipt so on my big receipt it's been stamped with scan law on it and it says overcharge um, and then it says you know like some other gobbledygook it's initialed a bunch of times but that shows you that yes I did get the scan law 
Now, um, with it being Walgreens, what happened with my receipt, um, let me show you my receipt. So there's the scan law and everything is initialed. Then um, it shows here, since I redeemed 20,000 points, that changes things a bit. So what happens is, um, where's my other receipt? Lord have mercy. Try to do something, a serious video here, and I just can't, I can't do it. So here is the receipt that I got back every, after everything was all said and done. So here is MA pricing correction. And actually, I did not know this, but the this scan law in my state has been in effect since like 1978. And the governor that we've, that not the one we have now, but the one we had before that, um, re, you know, signed it to make it last longer. I don't know. But anyways, um, as you can see, 80 cents for the soft soaps, a dollar for Colgate, and 50 cents for the Colgate. And then the different pricing corrections, I got 26.20 back. But because I paid with points, um, I got the amount of the different the differences. Um, I got back on a store card, and then she asked me if I wanted the store um, the uh, scan law pricing here the twenty dollars if I wanted that on a on the gift card as well or did I want that in cash and I'm like oh that was I'm thinking that was your guys's mistake I want the cash it's not going back into the store I mean it probably will but it will um, it's gonna be in my hands for a little bit before I spend it so anyways guys that is how that works so I didn't realize that there, if my camera's crooked, I'm sorry, I just shoved it back up there because I'm trying to get this done for you guys. Um, check your state, just type in what state has the scanner law, then there is a list of it, and then there's like a document for the states that have it, explaining it a little bit better, probably more like a terms and conditions thing. Um, Oh, and here's my gift card that I got for $6.57. That's fine. That's fine because what I expected out of all of this, out of all of this, was to get like maybe 8,000 points. That's what I expected out of all of this. I did not expect this, and I certainly did not expect this. This is free money right here because... And I'll take it, in, and the reason why I'm taking it in cash and not a gift card is because, like, hello, it's your mistake. And how many mistakes has been going on in the past five, six months at Walgreens? And I don't know, it's probably been going on a lot longer than that. You know, there's always something. Always something. So, yeah, I'll take the cash, and I'll put it in my gas tank or something. Anywho. I am, I am finding my center right now. Okay, so I'm fine. I'm in a great mood. So then I actually got some soft soap printable coupons from a great person on Instagram, but they are sold out. And I was going to actually get a couple more, but I decided, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to be done for the week. Well, that didn't last long because then I remembered the Catalina that uh, is printing for some people, but not everybody. Now, I do know that it is printing in Michigan because there are people in my group that are from Michigan that the it is printing for. I do know that. And so, I, I don't know why it's not printing for me. So, um, the, what I've been seeing is people are getting the, the Revlon Kiss Balms and it's printing for them. The Catalina that is going all month long, the $10 Catalina, it is printing for them. So I got the exfoliator um, lip balm, uh, kiss balm or whatever, and maybe that's why it didn't work. I'm going to try a different store though. I'm going to try a different store. Um, so this was $5.99. I used my gift card to pay for it. Um, so it was really no money. Well, it was money out of my pocket because it's not like it was a gift card that I found or whatever. 
um, but it was no additional cash out of my pocket. But I did not get the um, I did not get the uh, Catalina, so that sucks right there. But uh, there are some people that are really, really getting a lot of those Catalinas, and I mean, I don't know. But I wanted to make a separate video explaining this to you. So, to review, if you are overcharged some money and your state does the, has the state law, go back and go back and get your dollar and it's, you know, you'll get $2 or $3 back when it was supposed to be just a dollar back. The thing is, is that we as consumers overlook so much. We overlook so much. We get overcharged a few pennies, a few cents, a quarter, 50 cents, and we just let it go. We just let it go. But that is our money that we have to look at it as that is our money that they are keeping for themselves and they don't have a right to it. I guess that's maybe that, maybe that is over uh, dramatic about it, but I really think that we as customers, we need to stand up to these big stores and be like, look, that that's mine. That's not yours. You know, that dollar for that toothpaste, that's mine. And I'm poor, you know, compared to, compared to these, uh, you know, multi-billion dollar corporations. I'm a poor girl, you know, so let me have my $2 and you can keep your $5 billion and we'll call it a day. You know what I mean? I'm not saying give me your $5 billion. Anyways, guys, we as consumers need to stand up to corporations and not let them walk on us by overcharging us, um, doing these silly mistakes because we have a lot of people that I see on my videos, they'll watch the videos, but they're like, you know what? This is why I'm done with Walgreens. This is why I'm so done with Walgreens. And you know what? I... I completely understand because I post my videos every week and you see every week there's something. So case in point, don't let them walk all over you. And that is all for this uh, chit chat video, I guess. But uh, yeah, if, uh, if uh, I'll put a link below to that list of the, that has the scanner law, cause maybe you live in a state and you didn't even know about scanner law. Um, I know a lot of people that uh, uh, I come across that when I used to work at, because I used to work at Walmart and Big Lots and Meyer for a lot of years, and I come across a lot of people that didn't know anything about that scanner law. I mean, I knew about the scan law, and there would be managers that would have to come in and do the, you know, approve the returns or whatever, and they were like, I didn't even know about this. So, uh knowledge is power. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great day and I will see you later. Bye.